<laughs> Alright, to everyone, this is Northern Engineer today, and we're going to show you a little scam someone tried to pull. Now, if you guys are familiar with this channel, you know I've already been scammed once, about a hundred and something pounds after my inventory, when knives and whatnot were a lot cheaper. So I had like a 44 pound knife, I had a AWP lightning strike, and I had a AK-47, and all were roughly in that um, responding order. Right, so I had the bayonet, which was about £44 at the time, the AWP was £50, and then the AK was like a tenner, so about £100, let's say, and, it, and it's about 120 if you count the prices going up. So, basically, uh, this trade here. This trade here is basically where the scam is. Now, it's just to help you guys sort of look over it, because I've been scammed before, and I've had people try to scam me again. This is what you want to look out for. So, currently he's offering a stat track, bowie knife, burial forest, well worn. And in return, he's got a karambit scorch. I'm going to have to give him a karambit scorch, battle scarred, a stat track, orc electric hive, and a bayonet ultraviolet field tested. Now, for my prices, it comes to, I think, 180, I checked. So all of this together is about, let's say, 200 pounds. This thing, however is a little bit more difficult so if you look at the stat track bowie knife burial forest well worn so if you just look at burial forest like that and we just go very expensive things stat track bowie knife burial forest 281 needs 300 pounds right now you might think oh my god you're profiting at least 100 pounds if not 90 pounds from that that's amazing you're nearly getting 100 percent profit from that however this is where you sort of have to be very clever about it now i'd suggest everyone doing this if they've got like especially you can look at uh when you do uh, request counter offer or something like that you can actually see how much the money is in your currency for these items if you have the mobile phone you're looking at the trading through your mobile phone and you can see down here, there's only first, there's only one sell order for 281. Now, this is kind of where, and I believe this might be the, I don't know if this is the exact same person. It, it could very well be the exact, it is the exact same person. This is the kind of thing you want to be careful for. This is how, um, this is how they get you, right? So, I believe this is either a duplicated item, it must be a duplicated item, because I'm pretty sure you can't have a trade offer and have something on the community market, I've never tried that before. Um, but, as you just saw there, as you just saw there, alright, uh, so he had one in his inventory that he was offering to me, but he also has one on the marketplace. And it's also, he's also been reported for uh, scamming as well. So yeah, he has the Star Trek Bureau Forest, but look at the buy orders, £81. My Karambit is worth more than that. Just and, he, and, I, and he's basically going to get two free items plus a little bit extra profit from the Karambit. It's only because he's got this at such a high price he thinks he's going to profit so much from it, because as soon as you buy that, right, as soon as you buy that, you'll realise on a lot of trading sites, it's worth literally nothing compared to what you've got. Like, literally, it's like, it's not even worth the exact same as my bayonet, which was about £60. It's still £20 off. You know, so this is this is sort of where you have to sort of look in just perspective when you're uh, buying things and trading things on sites like this, um, like Steam. And I, I just about fell for it, but fortunately for me, I'm a little bit more careful. And I just clicked on the Steam marketplace to see how many were on the, uh, were being sold. If I saw, oh, hang on a minute, it's 281, but there's like, six or seven of them maybe then maybe just but checking how many were sold recently 81 pounds it's not worth it guys so yeah i hope you guys have just learned something very useful there i don't know if this is a new scam at all but um 
it's definitely something to be logged. Hope you guys can share this video just to uh, get it out there because this is actually very clever, I have to admit. Because if no one actually looked on the marketplace to see how much things were worth, like actual value worth, um, yeah, and if you go into something like CS Money as well, uh, one sec, so let's go on CS Money for a second. If you go into something like CS Money, um, I'm about, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be quite cheap as well on here. So just let me go to Great British Pounds. And we'll look for Boreal Forest, if it's even here. So, looking around, £55 for the regular stuff, field tested. Okay, I can't exactly see a Stat Track Boreal Forest at all. But I think you guys get the picture. It's not actually that expensive. It's it's pretty depressing to be honest, in some respects. But at the same time, yeah, if this was ever a fair trade, and this thing was worth like two hundred and eighty. He would probably have to, uh, yeah, as you can see here, he would probably have to add on. I'd say my. Bayonet, because that's about eighty pounds there. That's one sixty, and then you would need another twenty quid. So I'd say this thing and this thing. That's probably if this was ever worth two hundred and eighty. This is probably what I'd be asking for. All three of my knives, that, that, and that. Very, very cheeky. So he's asking for that. A stat track flip. I'm assuming he's gonna be doing this with someone else to see if they can try and catch them off guard. The same with all the uh, those five sevens there. E, I think they're all duplicated. So if you ever wanted to trade with that, I'd say offer him probably my being an ultraviolet. Cause that's sixty. This thing was sold for about eighty. This is the kind of trade you'd be offering, because it's a pretty shit thing. Now, obviously he probably won't accept it, but it's just something very funny and interesting to try out if he does. Because that trade, for a fact, is just completely and utterly bogus. It is completely not a horse shit. And yeah, I hope you guys can just keep an eye out on that. In any other news, yeah, let's just see how much this thing is worth. I think it'd be quite interesting to see as well. Uh, and if he does accept it, awesome. I get another Snap Track knife out of that. If not, which he probably won't, which I'm not going to be surprised because he was trying to scam me. Uh, yeah, good luck to you, sir. This guy here as well. <laughs> Mate, this has got 413 kills. Yeah, I probably wouldn't trade any of these items, especially when I already have them. And usually, this is why I hate though. No one looks in your inventory when they're trading things. They want things like this, sure. Because they already have like a spare one of these and a spare one of these, but... The thing which... Um... <coughs> annoys me quite a bit is because no one actually really looks in your inventory and they already they don't already see I have this and this both in stat track <laughs> nevertheless so and also I think I wouldn't say better quality but you get the idea not worth it that's about 60 uh, that's about 17 I'd say it it's about the same price but for what it's worth, unless you want three items like that, nah, it's it's not worth it. Come on, let's be honest, it's not it's not worth it. Also, uh, just quickly going through my inventory as well, if you guys haven't seen. So yeah, 
I got some cool things here. I got the full Cyrex collection now. I'm saying that because I used to have the full Hyper Beast before this operation came out, and it now has the 5-7 uh, Hyper Beast, which I need to get, which is sad, unfortunate. You may even have to get in Stat Track. The monkey business, you've served me well for the limited time Stat Track you've had, but unfortunately now I have to get something else. Which it's annoying, but it's unfortunate, but oh well. So yeah, I got all of this stuff and my fly knife over mass stat track, both for basically the two other knives I had, which was some shadow daggers and my other bayonet. So I thought shadow daggers are pretty poor, to be honest. I hate how they shake the screen when you equip them. Um, some people may think that's cool. Me, I'm personally, I find it quite annoying. And I'll only ever get shadow daggers again if they're cheap. And if I've got money to waste. The bayonet, as I say, I already have the ultraviolet one, so what's the point having another? I may get another bayonet, but if I do, it's probably going to be something like case hardened or something. Or oh, maybe an it's an M9. Uh, what else? I got the Judgment of Anubis, uh, Kraken, and I got the Bullet Rain back, but full tested. It's pretty badly scarred, but I've just got one with a bunch of stickers on it because I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. Fire Elemental. I got the Royal Paladin. Uh, that's pretty cool. All red as well in one line. That's pretty impressive. I also have the all pink DD Pat Stat Track Famas Mecha Industries uh, UMP Corporal the imprint Stat Track Famas Jin. I probably should have got this non Stat Track to be honest, because I guess it was kind of expensive. Well, not as expensive as the Mecha Industries, but you get the idea. Uh, yes, I got the pink DD Pat Elite Build. I got an Orp Safari Mesh. Yeah, some of you may think that's absolutely stupid. Why on earth did you get one of them, Mr. Legion? And I said, well, it's pretty fucking battle scarred. And I had money. I thought, why the fuck not? Buy an Orp Safari Mesh and call it the Orp Graphite. And here's the funny thing. At the time, I also had enough money to buy an Orp Graphite as well. So I would have had a real one and a fake one. I also got the Souvenir Sword of Sage Spray. Very nice, actually. Because it's nice and, like, white, but then it's got all these gold stickers on it. It's actually not that bad. I wish this came stat track, too, and I, pr I probably would actually use this way more than the uh, Wasteland Princess, which I've got. I've also got them Souvenir Mag 7 Irradiated Alert. However, the problem with this was it doesn't come with any stickers. Someone must have peeled all the stickers off. I called it a Souvenir... Which is kind of cheap, to be honest, and sucks. I got the Souvenir Mac 10 Indigo and Souvenir Dolberetta's Briar, pretty shitty as well. I want to get rid of the Dolberetta's Briar because they're just so crap. This is fine slightly, but this thing, it looks, it looks, you think it's clean here, and then you look at it in-game, it's like all tattered, ugh, it's horrible. Employment Basilisk and the Stat Track version. I actually did have another one which was somewhere around here, but I just used that in one of the trade-ups because this thing had a way better profit. As you can see, collecting more M4A4s and M4A1Ss. Got this thing. Evil Dynamo. Uh, Stat Trek Crimson Web. The Orp Electric Hive is here. The Orp Lightning Strike is back. I think the next time I'm going to buy something, though, it's probably going to be a, uh, a knife, though. And that's only due to the fact that because at the time when I gave this thing away, plus my Aquamarine Revenge, I had an Aquamarine Revenge, I had this thing, and I had a field-tested knife ultraviolet. Yeah, it was, it was alright, I guess. You know, I mean, I had a knife, I had a really good AWP, I had a really good AK. But at the time... The M4 I had, I, I think it was a Hyper Beast, yeah. So I had a pretty solid inventory, to be honest, at that point. I mean, now it's just birthed out of control. Just looking at that. A uh, bunch of random stuff here. Yeah, I still got my Karambit Scorched, if you guys were, you know, not keeping track. I still have my three knives. Yeah, three. <laughs> this is probably the area I'm most proud of. Very nice, very nice things here. Yeah, I got that, 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 that. Also, I might be getting the Hyper Beast of the Stat Trek very soon. 
Asimov, Primal Saber, Desolate Space, Evil Dynamo, Hyper Beast, Ghost Crusader. Some random stuff around here. Also, I should be getting the uh, fuel injector, Techno fuel injector in Stat Track soon, as well as the Griffin. I want to get that in Stat Track. I also want to get the R8 fade in Stat Track soon. Uh, what else do I want to get in Stat Track? Probably the Asimov. The Asimov, the Roll Cage, and the Galliard Eco. I'll probably want to get on Stat Track. I want. I also want a Stat Track Red skin as well. The Negev, I'll probably want to get in Stat Track too. And also, I've, as you can see, I've still got the uh, Bronze Deco as probably my skin. 632 kills. I'm still amazed at that. That's, I wouldn't say close, but it could be close to getting to a thousand kills there. And yet, I have the Legal Conspiracy. And the Deagle Komodo Dragon or Commission Dragon, which I do want to get Star Trek as well. Should I replace that? Maybe. It looks like a, it is a fantastic Deagle though. Also, the uh, Glock 10 Water Elemental Battle Scarred. Most people might consider why did you go Battle Scarred? Why don't you get field tested? It is very expensive, like ten pounds for a Glock skin, a Star Trek Glock skin. I was already using the um, Bunsen burner. Which is still a good skin, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, it's still a good skin, that's why I haven't transferred my kills over, 228. And it's uh, field tested, I wish it was been a while to be honest, but um... I don't think it's worth it. This personally I don't think was a good investment, because there's still a red... Uh, a red Glock skin out there, which I could get in Stat Trek, and then it'd be fine. I would probably never come back to the Water Elemental, even if I got a Stat Track Fire Elemental P2000 skin, or P2K, but then I don't really use the P2K, I usually use the UMP, and I'd rather spend 50 quid on a USPS than a Glock, because a USPS is far more accurate, I use that a lot more, and considering, let's put it into perspective here, for the amount of uh, Glock skins that I've got, Stat Track Glock skin, if I just type in Glock, so we've got this thing, which has got 25 kills, or sorry, 35 kills, and then this one's got 228, so let's say that's 235, 45, 55, that's about 260 something, right? Let's say 270%.